The body of a 90-year-old woman burnt in her attached home has been buried, as all other affected victims who lost their valuables to the inferno on Thursday last week are calling on the government and other relevant agencies to support them to rebuild their homes. Plus TV correspondent Francis Terre, who visited the community, reports that the victims, mostly peasant farmers who recounted their losses, are with no clothes, food or a roof over their heads. Uh, I want government to come and give us help um, so that things that is supposed to sell and buy things have already burned and uh, some houses has burned. So if the government, I cannot tax government, but I'm just empty, we are empty. At the movement, we have written to the state uh, emergency management board for support and we are hoping that in no distant time they will give us uh, some relief material so that we can give to the victims of the, uh, of the fire inferno. So we are also trying to mobilize resources so that we can also help them in our only two way. All that he produced from the farm this year and all that he had for years is gone and he has no hope. He is appealing to the government that he can only turn his eyes to help him and some of his brothers. The fire came from nowhere and destroyed my house with so many belongings inside. So the, 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 the farm produce inside the room were soybeans that worth up to 30 bags, uh, 20 bags of mesh and other belongings. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.